Good afternoon, everyone. Would you please bow your heads and pray with me? Thank you for allowing us to be here today. Even though it's not face-to-face, -face, this is an amazing milestone to celebrate in the lives of these student doctors. I pray that you will constantly remind them of the calling you have given them and will also keep them humble as they begin this life of service. I pray that when these student doctors put on their white coats for the first time, they feel a sense of accomplishment for getting to this point, as well as a sense of ambition to live up to what that white coat represents. I pray that you will provide them with the wisdom and drive that they're going to need to become pillars in their community. I pray that when times get tough, as we all know that they will, they will learn to lean on you and you will help them to view their challenges as learning opportunities, not as failures. I pray that you will mold these student doctors as they become great physicians, leaders, and educators. I pray that the families and friends of these first years will understand and be supportive through this long journey to becoming a physician, and that they will appreciate the time, commitment, and dedication that it takes to be successful. Lastly, I pray that you will walk alongside each and every one of them on every day of this journey, giving them the confidence that they are, indeed, exactly where they are supposed to be. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hello, and welcome to the Kentucky College of Osteopathic Medicine's White Coat Ceremony. As you can tell, this ceremony is a little bit different from the way we normally do this. In a normal year, we have everyone come together and we meet in the Expo Center that's right down in the heart of Pikeville, Kentucky, and we all walk across the stage and watch as our new physicians in training get their first white coats. But here, you won't quite have that same opportunity. And still, we want to do something that's significant for our students. We came up with this idea because we thought, yeah, we can do that and we can maintain social distance while we do it. It's even safe while you're sitting at home for me to not be wearing a mask. So, welcome and thank you for being with us. Good morning, students, families, friends, and special guests. On behalf of the CHICOM faculty, staff, and administration, I would like to welcome everyone to this year of the unusual and unprecedented 2020 virtual white coat ceremony for the University of Pikeville Kentucky College of Osteopathic Medicine class of 2024. My name is Dana Schaefer, DO, and I am honored to serve as Dean of CHICOM. First, I would like to recognize a group of individuals who are not on stage this year, but who are with us virtually. At KICOM, we have an outstanding faculty. Their dedication to providing world-class medical education is one of the keys to the success of our students and graduates. We thank each member of the KICOM faculty for everything they do every day and will do for the members of this class over the next four years. In my view, this white coat ceremony is the second most important ceremony conducted at the Kentucky College of Osteopathic Medicine, second only to graduation. The white coat ceremony was an idea conceived by the Arnold P. Gold Foundation to create a psychological contract for professionalism and empathy in medicine. The first white coat ceremony took place in 1993 at Columbia's College of Physicians and Surgeons. Since then, more than 90% of osteopathic and allopathic medical schools in the United States have initiated such a ceremony. This morning, we are celebrating and congratulating the newest student doctors of the Kentucky College of Osteopathic Medicine family, our class of 2024 on receiving their first white coat and DO touch pin, symbolizing the distinctiveness of our profession. Annually, we conduct this ceremony at the Kentucky College of Osteopathic Medicine to mark the transition and commitment the members of this class are making from lay people to assuming the responsibility of student doctors. While it is necessary to mark this tri transition, why is the focus on professionalism and empathy necessary for medical students who have nearly four years remaining of medical school, licensing board exams to pass, residencies to finish, and state licenses to obtain? It is necessary because being a physician, an osteopathic physician, starts now. You, the members of the class of 2024, will increasingly be granted by society significant and I hope humbling power and responsibility in your relations with your fellow human beings in regard to their health and illness of their bodies, minds, and spirits. 
You must recognize this privilege and understand that you are no longer just students. As you heard me talk to you at orientation just a few weeks ago, you must walk, talk, think, eat, sleep, and behave as physicians 24-7, 365. You must accept and embrace the mantle of professionalism bestowed upon you symbolically here today. Class of 2024, you were selected to enter this profession our osteopathic profession because you have demonstrated the abilities and the character necessary to succeed as an osteopathic physician. Today I congratulate you on your achievements thus far and encourage you in those accomplishments your, that are yet to come. And now it is my great pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker, Mr. Donovan Blackburn. Mr. Blackburn's business career began in 1982. He quickly climbed the corporate ladder, working for companies such as Kmart, Lowe's Health Home Center, and a marketing, marketing company, and finally, Pharrell Glass, Gas. While at Pharrell Gas, in a very short period of time, he moved from a regional market manager to district manager to regional operations, operations manager, overseeing 26 plants in four states. In January 2004, Donovan left Pharrell Glass to accept the position of Pikeville City Manager. Pikeville was becoming one of the most progressive rural communities in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. While city manager, Donovan received a number of accolades and awards. These included being named the 2010 City Official of the Year by the Kentucky League of Cities, the 2011 Eastern Kentucky Leadership Public Official of the Year by the First Kentucky Leadership Foundation, and the 2014 Excellence in Leadership by both the Southeast Kentucky Chamber of Commerce and Pikeville Main Street Program. In June of 2017, Mr. Blackburn accepted the position of Assistant Chief Executive Officer for Pikeville Medical Center. A few short months later, he also accepted the position as the Chief Operating Officer. In January of 2018, Donovan was offered the position of Chief Executive Officer by the Pikeville Medical Center Board of Trustees, which he accepted um, respectfully. Donovan also has served on numerous boards and committees on the local, state, and national levels in various leadership positions. In addition to serving as CEO of Pikeville Medical Center, he is also Chairman of the City of Pikeville Economic and Industrial Development Authority, Board Member and Trustee and, and Treasurer of SOAR, shaping our Appalachian region, Board Member of the Appalachian Osteopathic Postgraduate Training Consortium, known as AOPTIC, Kentucky Justice for All Committee, Ken Kentucky State Chamber of Commerce ex officio board member, Kentucky State Chamber of Commerce Health and Wellbeing Committee Chair, Kentucky Hospital Association Board of, of Directors, Kentucky Hospital Association Legislative Committee, and Kentucky Hospital Association, Association Health Care Policy Council. As a hospital CEO, Donovan understands the importance and symbolism of the white coat and how it is perceived by patients and families, especially in their greatest times of fear and need. We are pleased and honored to have Mr. Donovan Blackburn as our CHICOM Class of 2024 White Coat Keynote Speaker. Mr. Blackburn. Thank you, Dr. Schaefer. It's a true honor to be part of this pivotal moment in time for the class of 2024, a day filled with excitement and the realization of dreams for the future. You have worked hard to get into medical school. Your sacrifices, hard work, and dedication have paid off. You have already accomplished greatness in your life to get here today. In addition to UPIC's Kentucky College of Osteopathic Medicine, please know that the people of this region are glad you chose to be part of this incoming class. We are overjoyed to have you in our community, and we are here to support you during these years ahead. I want to encourage you to become involved in your neighbors and the area while you are here. Get to know the people, and let them get to know you. I assure you, the families of these mountains are some of the kindest, most generous souls you'll ever meet. 
The professors and physicians in this institution are among the very best. They are dedicated to teaching you and leading you into your professional career. They are also here to inspire you and to become part of your educational family. We are also blessed to have a strong medical community in Pikeville. They have a wealth of knowledge and experience that will prove to be beneficial to you and your career. You are in a great place to learn and grow. In the years ahead, you will learn from excellent physicians who will guide you through medical school. And very soon, you will be the physician treating and teaching others. So make the most of each and every day while you are here. You have experienced many firsts through your life, and today is yet another first. The first virtual white coat ceremony at the Kentucky College of Osteopathic Medicine, a day that will be remembered in the history of the university, and a day that will always stand out in your life and the lives of those who have supported and encouraged you along the way. Additionally, you are making history right now. You are entering into medicine at a time like no other. With this pandemic, the health inequities in this country and the significance of the occupation ahead of you, healthcare needs you now more than ever. You have chosen to embark on a professional career with challenges unlike generations of physicians before you. It takes a unique person to face these challenges head on. As you all begin this journey, it is safe to say that some of you will become the physician who experiences the joy of bringing precious lives into this world. You may treat and motivate patients to stand and to walk again after experiencing an unexpected trauma, while others will rush to the emergency department during patients' most frightening and most vulnerable moments. As you stand in the balance of life and death, you are the person who will hold the hands and the hearts of those you serve. You will come into the lives of people in a way that only a physician can. You will help write their future and become an integral part of their history. There are many choices to be made during the next few years. There are countless medical specialties. Which direction will you choose? What patient base will you serve? During this phase of your education, decide to keep an open mind. Make it a priority every day to learn and retain everything you possibly can. These daily lessons are the moments and the knowledge you will need to treat, change, and save lives. You are not just studying to pass a test. This information will lead you through each day of your professional career, so study hard. Study in a way that at the end of your career you can look back and say, I have done exactly what I was meant to do with my life. You never know what opportunities lie ahead of you during your career. I have personally made my career in business development and leadership. When I began, I had no idea I would end up working at a healthcare facility. Three years ago, I found myself accepting the position as CEO at Pikeville Medical Center. I was to lead this organization to help build service lines to meet the needs of our community. My history is the foundation of my new future. The hospital has done an excellent job providing countless service lines, building a strong cardiology department, cancer center, and orthopedic center. We have won awards and recognition for excellence in healthcare. PMC has Kentucky's only level two trauma center and the region's only level two NICU. We have recruited some of the most highly respected physicians in their fields. However, one area that still needs to see growth and development was the pediatric department. After reviewing the needs of the region, it was obvious that our youngest patients deserve strong, reliable healthcare and close to home. The closest children's hospital are hours away. Travel and extra expense are additional hardships in an already frightening situation for a family. With the support of my board of directors and my senior executive leadership team, I quickly began making plans to change the future of our children. We worked diligently to lay the groundwork for the region's first children's hospital. Soon after, I was blessed with the birth of a beautiful granddaughter. As you would expect, we hoped her future would be filled with all the special blessings of a typical childhood. But as time passed, we discovered that our little Ava had some unexpected challenges. She was soon diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. The closest autism center was more than two hours away. Like countless families around the region, we were facing difficult decisions with no local options. Therapy is a daily commitment 
so travel to a metro market that offers services is nearly impossible. Families shouldn't have to move to give their children the assistance and future that they deserve. This burden laid heavy on my heart. My wife and I began to research the needs and services available. We found that about one of 54 children have been identified with autism spectrum disorder, according to the estimates from the CDC. That means that there are potentially 270 children who need therapy for autism in Pike County alone. Across our service area, that number is 1,700. After many long meetings, planning sessions, research and recruitment, I am proud to say that the Appalachian Valley Autism Center, or the AVA Center, a name that bears my own granddaughter's name, is now open to offer patients with autism or other related diagnosis therapy to help them achieve their very best future. We have completed phases one, two, and three, and we are well on our way for phase four. We have a team of exceptional therapists who are following their hearts and making history for our learners. On August 14th, we had a ribbon cutting ceremony for the Ava Center and a groundbreaking ceremony for the Pikeville Medical Center Children's Hospital, which is projected to open in 2021. So needless to say, this businessman has a huge heart for healthcare in the mountains that I am proud to call my home. We are committed to expanding service lines and continuing to provide world-class healthcare for this wonderful region that I was blessed to grow up in. I'm excited about the future of healthcare. I'm also excited to know that people like you are committing themselves to the field of medicine. I want to encourage you to excel in your career, but most importantly, develop your capacity for compassion and connection with others. Practice medicine with love, joy, and awe. The inward calling is a longing for deep contact with patients, colleagues, and communities. Most career choices make you accountable to a supervisor, a boss, or board of directors but you are accountable first and foremost to the patient looking you eye to eye. The patient who chose you, trusts you, and depends on you. Your head figures out the medicine and the doses, but it's your heart that understands truths. You won't learn about heart in the same way you learn the science, policies, procedures, or protocols. Success comes when knowledge and heart work together. Each week will set your schedule, but it is up to you to develop compassion and connection with others. The field of medicine is one built on core ethical principles, values, and duties. It is a lifelong path of growth as a person and a physician. When you take the physician's oath, understand that it is a true commitment, not simply words recited among colleagues. It is real affirmation of who you are and how you choose to live. It is an oath that is to be taken seriously. In the excitement of the day, these words may not carry the weight as they will in years to come. Its meaning will carry you into an uncertain future, one that holds many challenges, but also great promise. When you put your white coat on, it acknowledges the past accomplishments that brought you to this moment in time and the purposes that lie ahead. Fill your coat with more than just the spread of your shoulders and back. Fill it with honesty, truth, compassion, and heart. Your white coat is new and without stain during this dawning. It will not always be this pristine. The wear and stains will tell your story. Your white coat will reveal the history of your service. Each worn thread or unremovable stain will show how real it is to serve your patients and will remind you of how much you are needed, trusted, and revered. Always remember to develop your professionalism, the relationships, reflection, and resilience, despite shifting timelines, cancellations, and adjustments. Never forget as your career unfolds, you are giving countless patients and their families a future that will enable your history to be told long after you lay down your stethoscope. Best wishes to you in the days and the years ahead. Congratulations, KaiCom, class of 2024. Congratulations, class of 2024. 
Here we are on one of the most important and memorable days of a medical student's career. Today, you get to don your white coat. It's a coat that symbolizes honor, hard work, sweat and tears, endless nights of studying, and a couple thousand uh, PowerPoint slides per block. And those of you that like Anki, probably a couple thousand of those as well. <laughs> when you look at your white coat, you may feel that feeling that you just ace your first block exam, or that feeling that you finally understand and feel what you're supposed to in OMM. It's your first interaction with a patient, um, and that feeling when you finally walk out of an OSCE, feeling confident um, that you aced it. You will be wearing this white coat for the next four years. There will be many memories associated with it, many struggles, but also many uh, accomplishments. There will be many responsibilities that come along with it. From today forward, as you don your white coat, I want you to think about the following. Your white coat will give you opportunities you can't even foresee. Opportunities will come flying your way. Don't feel like you need to take every opportunity. Pick and choose opportunities that are in line with what is important to you. Pick opportunities you are passionate about and willing to work on. And it will lead you down a path to more opportunities that will help you grow in the way that you want to. The white coat will also throw new experiences and challenges your way. When you come across something new, something scary, just take a moment to stop. Center in on yourself and take the leap anyways despite the fear. Know yourself, have faith and courage in yourself as a student and as a leader and as a learner. Whatever challenges come, you'll conquer them one by one. And then there's asking for help. You'll find that there's so much that you don't know despite having learned so much. There's a level of humility uh, needed in the medical field. Those who understand what they do not know can learn from it. Those who do not know what they don't know will continue making the same mistakes over and over and over again. So ask your questions. When given the opportunity to make mistakes, you may feel embarrassed and pressured to be perfect, but embrace it. Embrace what you don't know and double down on learning from it. When you wear your white coat, everyone knows who you are. You represent yourself, your classmates, and your school. Always be respectful no matter who you interact with. Always be humble. You never know who you need to impress. And lastly, enjoy this time in medical school with your white coats. Have a lot of laughs. Take care of yourself. We tend to be really hard on ourselves as medical students. You're your first patient. When you give yourself some grace and patience, as you would any other person, as you would your, your uh, patient, you'll be happier. You'll go farther. You'll be more courageous than you can imagine. I am all about perspective, um, and there's one quote that I really love and I always go back to time and time again, and it's this, and I don't know who says it, but it's, remember when you wanted what you have now. Let that sink in. You've put so much work to get here. Remember the joy when you found out that you first got into medical school? Well, today is another one of those days. So when you go through tough, challenging times, think about today, the day that you finally get to wear your white coat. The joy that comes along with receiving it, the accomplishment that you feel, relish in it. You've already accomplished so much. Remember that joy and let it carry you through the hard times and the struggles. So with that, on behalf of the student body, I want to wish you congratulations. Um, Congratulations, student doctors of class of 2024. We're so, so proud of you. Morteda Alamiri. Akalish Alexander. Ahmad Ali. Colton Amberger. Kamjung Amrine. Nicola Armour Smith, Megan 
Arnold. Hamza Ashfaq. Simon Bakhtawar. Aisha Bagia. Haley Baker. Rylan Banks. Erica Bell. Oleg Belashev. Brooke Benjamin. Andrew Bixler. Brendan Black. Montana Blair. Caleb Bowen. Fisnick Sake. Althea Campbell. Savannah Carty. Megan Carigatti. Callie Cato. Rachel Chauvin. Victor Chu. Arath Chithrala. Marco Chevalia. Zachary Combs. Emily Culp. Dia Das. Raquela Dunlinger. Lily Doe. Dakota Ebley. Nathan Egler. Benjamin Elliott. Austin Ellswick. Mark Fowler. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Jonathan Foley. Jaron George. Andrew Gertz. Andrew Giles. Daniel Goodman. Olivia Marie Groves. Gillian Gurney. Joseph Hackworth. Anna Hargrave. Mohammed Hashem. Amani Hassana. Colin Hathorne. Bailey Helbert. Megan Hennan. Fernando Hernandez. Christine Herrera. Abdu Hijazi. Emily Holdren. Mason Holt. Lily Hoover. Alexandra Houston. Manur Humanun. Nasher Hussein. Adaku Eko. Kayla Amberlina. Tiffany Isaacs. Samantha Jocelyn. Jessica Jurek. Pranuthi Ganakanti. Matthew Kaufman. Nathan Kaufman. Faiha Khan. Rachel Cook. Jennifer Kaur. Arthi Krishna. Juwan Lee. Eric Lagotsky. Brian Long. Chase Lowry. V. Loon. Maximilian Lee. Robert Manet. 
Killian Mark, Jessica Meadows, Raven Melson, Caroline Mifsud, Jacob Miller, Shreyas Modi, Aya Muhammad Osman, Paige Mosco, Chelsea Myers, Muhammad Arib Narvel, Sophie Wynn, Taylor Wynn, Mackenzie Nichols, Elizabeth O'Connor, William Olson, Daniel Oxnard, John Page, Kelsey Parker, Jay Patel, Adrian Paul, Austin Fippen, David Pullman, Colton Putnam, Andrea Quatch, Stephen Ramsey, Curtis Rapier, Monisha Rakeraj, Jercel Respicio, Cody Rice, Hunter Ricketts, James Robertson, Sarah Roberts, Rhea Rapani, Abigail Rui, Kenneth Salant Jr., William Salisbury, Montana Shemansky, Diana Schweitzer, Malavika Sitha, Srijoni Singupta, Namra Sophie, James Shaughnessy, Saif Siddiqui, Hannah Skaggs, Michelle Slattery, Joshua Smith, Catherine Stillman, Jason Chia Shung Day, Micah Thomas, Emily Tishkoff, Kwa Tran, Melinda Trimmer Taylor, Cody Trude, Carter Wall, Jordan Williams, Damian Williamson, Daniel Wilson, Benjamin Wolf, Quentin Waltring, Jonathan Yelda. Hi, it's my pleasure to be here today as a president for Kentucky Osteopathic Medical Association. It is the demand of this current time that we have to do this virtually. I miss seeing the new incoming class. You have in entered a challenging profession during the challenging time and chose to be an osteopathic physician. I congratulate you and admire you for doing this. The path is not going to be easy. The journey may take a pause or stop, but you have to keep moving on. I bet there will be more challenging time during these four years of medical school. You need to be resilient and persevere through those hard times. You should be looking for support from your friends, colleagues, and family. You'll be sacrificing some family events 
festivals and other activities over the next four years of medical school. But the family you have today, your classmates and other school professionals will help you to get through those missing moments. Admire them, appreciate them, and be thankful to them as this will keep your social health well. I promise you that you have made the right choice to be an osteopathic physician. You'll be able to treat the patient's physical, mental, and spiritual health as a whole. If you are not in balance, then you cannot help your patients achieve the balanced state of health. If you can keep this in your heart in meeting each patient that you encounter and engage them in their health management, you'll be making a difference in your patient's health. Class of 2024, I welcome you to the osteopathic family. Thank you. Welcome parents, friends, guests, and most especially students in the class of 2024 to the KaiCom White Coat Ceremony. This is truly a special day for all of us at KaiCom, as well as the students before you. This is our chance to welcome and congratulate you on the journey you are beginning and to validate your presence among us as learners and as your future colleagues. I am Sambal Shahid Salas, the Alumni Association President, a member of the Class of 2010, and a practicing emergency medicine physician in Rome, Georgia. Coming into medical school, I had an image in my mind of what a doctor was. Somewhat staunch, boring, methodical, contemplative, sometimes boisterous, and competitive. Your class just doesn't seem to match that image. Somehow, as KaiCom students, we have all been and still are different from that stereotype of the traditional doctor. As the friends, families, and mentors of these students, you must agree with me, right? These are not your typical medical students, and in the future, they will not be your typical doctors. For those of you in the audience unfamiliar with medical school education, you should know that it is an extremely demanding and seemingly never-ending process. For the next four years, the class of 2024 will be studying, taking exams, studying more, taking exams, looking for free food, and studying more. Class of 2024, think of all you have learned and how far you've come already. You survived the first block. You took a drink, not from the fountain of knowledge, but from the fire hose of anatomy, and you did not drown. You really can handle the information, the reading, the studying, the memorization and regurgitation that are necessary to make it through medical school. And you will continue to learn to genuinely understand the miracle that is the human body. You made it through the first block in clinical skills. While you have much to learn, you are well on the journey of becoming a doctor. You are beginning to understand that the history is truly the patient's story, and you have learned to go beyond listening, to thoughtfully learning, reading, hearing, and comprehending. Now it really begins. As you move into the coming semesters, you will actively participate in the care of patients. Far beyond the pre-med shadowing you did in the past, patients will look at you as part of their healthcare team. This is when you earn it. You were ready and you were worthy to wear this white coat. So what does it mean to wear this white coat? The most expensive coat you've ever owned? It is your uniform, your entry ticket to pursue a noble profession. Not a job, but a calling a deep, passionate need to serve others. It is not a sign that you have arrived, but that you have begun the journey that will last the rest of your life. As you continue this first phase, medical school, I call on you to learn not just from our faculty, but also from your patients. There is an old saying that people do not care how much you know until first they know how much you care. When patients recognize that you genuinely care and are there to serve them, and yes, they can detect this very rapidly, 
then the history and physical exam become not just diagnostic, but also therapeutic. When done right, patients will feel better before they walk out the door, before they fill that prescription. Remember, if your goal as a doctor is to eliminate disease, you will lose. But if your goal is to provide care and better yet, care with genuine caring, you will succeed. In every single patient encounter, you will find success and every patient will love you for it. So I'd like to encourage you to put on the white coat and embrace this journey. While it will be hard, it is well worth it. There is joy in the journey. Their illness is our learning opportunity. As students, you will find patients who can find in you things they have never told anyone else. It is an amazing opportunity for you and the patient. While their doctor may have heard their murmur a dozen times, it will be new and exciting to you and your patients will love you for your enthusiasm. And it is never too early to begin to care and to serve. I have loved my journey to date and continue to love it every day. I thank you for allowing me to share some thoughts with you and wish you joy and happiness in your journey. Undoubtedly, as Alumni Association President, I want you to know that the Alumni Association is here for you from day one to help support you with our mentoring program, with events around the country in the areas you train and eventually practice, at CME events in the future to get together with old friends and to be your alumni home after you graduate. So please get involved and reach out to us for anything we can do to help you along the way. Best wishes. Congratulations, class of 2024, on accepting the responsibility and privilege of becoming an osteopathic physician. I'm going to read the Pledge of Commitment with you, and after each pause, please repeat along with me. As I embark upon the study of osteopathic medicine at the Kentucky College of Osteopathic Medicine, I will enter into a relationship of mutual respect with my teachers and my colleagues to enhance the learning environment and gain the knowledge, skills, and attitudes of a competent osteopathic physician. Accept responsibility only for those matters for which I am competent Maintain the trust expected of an osteopathic physician and never take advantage of the patient-doctor relationship. Show compassion and respect for all others. Set worthy examples in the application of humanistic principles in my relationships with patients and others within the Appalachian medical community. Work toward improving my sensitivity and skills in human interaction, understanding, and respecting the differences among my patients and colleagues. Value the knowledge and wisdom of the physicians who have preceded me in the profession and endeavor to contribute to the osteopathic tradition. Recognize my weaknesses and strengths and strive to develop those qualities that will earn the respect of my patients, my colleagues, my family, and myself. Continue learning throughout all the days of my life. Congratulations, class of 2024. This concludes the Kentucky College of Osteopathic Medicine Class of 2024 White Coat Ceremony. Thank you for joining us this morning in celebrating a very special occasion in the professional career of these osteopathic medical students. 
Although we could not conduct this important event in person, we hope that it will still be a special day in the minds, hearts, and souls of these students and you, their families and friends, for years to come. Please stay safe and healthy as we continue to battle this pandemic. We look forward to seeing you all at an in-person graduation ceremony for the class of 2024. Have a wonderful day.